chapter 41. And he brought me to the temple, and measured the post, six cubits broad on the one side, and six cubits broad on the other side, which was the breadth of the tent. And the breadth of the entrance was ten cubits, and the sides of the entrance were five cubits on the one side, and five cubits on the other side. And he measured the length thereof, forty cubits, and the breadth twenty cubits. Then, then went he inward, and measured each post of the entrance, two cubits, and the entrance, six cubits, and the breadth of the entrance, seven cubits. And he measured the length thereof, twenty cubits, and the breadth, twenty cubits, before the temple. And he said unto me, This is the most holy place. Then he measured the wall of the house, six cubits, and the breadth of every side chamber, four cubits, round about the house on every side. And the side chambers were one over another three and thirty times, and there were cornices in the wall which belonged to the house of the side chambers round about that they might have hold therein and not have hold on the wall of the house. And the side chambers were broader as they wound about higher and higher, for the winding about of the house went higher and higher round about the house. Therefore the breadth of the house continued upward, and so one went up from the lowest row to the highest by the middle. I saw also that the house had a raised basement round about. The foundations of the side chambers were a full reed of six cubits to the joining. The breadth of the outer wall which belonged to the side chamber was five cubits, and so that which was left by the structure of the side chambers that belonged to the house. And between the chambers was a breadth of twenty cubits round about the house and every si on every side. And the doors of the side chambers were toward the place that was left, one door toward the north and another door toward the south, and the breadth of the place that was left was five cubits round about. And the building that was before the separate place at the side toward the west was seventy cubits broad, and the wall of the building was five cubits thick round about, and the length thereof ninety cubits. And he measured the house a hundred cubits long, and the separate place and the building with the walls thereof a hundred cubits long. Also the breadth of the face of the house and the separate place toward the east a hundred cubits. And he measured the length of the building before the separate place which was at the back thereof and the galleries thereof on the one side and on the other side a hundred cubits. Now the temple and the inner place and the porches of the court, the jams and the narrow windows and the galleries that they three had had round about over against the jams there was a veneering of wood round about and from the ground up to the windows and the windows were covered to the space above the door even unto the inner house and without and on all the wall round about within and without by measure and it was made with cheddar beam and palm trees and a palm tree was between cherub and cherub, and every cherub had two faces, so that there was the face of a man toward the palm tree on the one side, and the face of a young lion toward the palm tree on the other side. Thus was it made through all the house round about. From the ground, from the ground unto above the door were cherubim and palm trees made, and so on the wall of the temple. As for the temple, the jams were squared, and the face of the sanctuary had an appearance such as is the appearance. The altar, three cubits high, and the length thereof, two cubits, was of wood, and so the corners thereof, the length thereof, and the walls thereof were also of wood. And he said unto me, This is the table that is before the Lord. And the temple and the sanctuary had two doors. And the doors had two leaves apiece, two turning leaves, two leaves 
for the one door and two leaves for the other. And there were made on them, on the doors of the temple, cherubim and palm trees, like as were made upon the walls, and there were thick beams of wood upon the face of the porch without. And there were narrow windows and palm trees on the one side and on the other side, on the sides of the porch, there were also the brackets of the house and the thick beams. All right, let's go back up to verse 1. Now yesterday, and yesterday we, this came in the grace of the redemption and the greater understanding. This, we're going to find the rebuilding of the temple. This, the temple, even in the, this portion of the law that's that's laid out for the understanding that was given to the lesser lights in the even in the portion that's of the God's work in the law then for the greater understanding was all this laid out so we'll find that God has done this as God has built this great house this is the great house that God promised to build this was the temple and we're going to find out it is balanced it is it is it is a witness. It's the house even there where the, where the witnesses or the servants of God do serve. Well, that's what it is. And we'll find we, yesterday we left off now. We left off we was measuring and we had measured the cells and the, the lighted ways and the, all these chambers that were around about, these side chambers they're called these things that are made plain which we can point out what it is is all the evidence that's left we'll find that God that God put in the earth all this that we have to back it up and those are the supports uh, that were measured out that God said and we'll find out it's all it's all the law being measured out twice was it measured out see and twice so we could witness it and that's what it's that's what it is but we left off now as we as we were brought to the porch of the house and where we had come up and twice had we come up we had come to this porch of the house and we had measured it and we had known the length of the porch and this was that which goeth in as we was getting ready to go in this through the last gate uh, where we were going to come into where the temple is. And we're going to pick it up right there. Verse 1. And he brought me to the temple and measured the post. Six cubits broad on the one side and six cubits broad on the other side, which was the breadth of the tent. And this, and he brought me to the temple. Now, and now we're going to see where the temple is. This temple, this is the sanctuary we'll find out. This is the sanctuary of God. And we measure the post, and we set the mo measurements of these things that support the temple. And these posts, we'll find out, there are going to be two posts. There are always one post on each side. And these posts measure out the six cubits. And these six is the work of man. Once again, six days shall you do your work. And the work of man was measured out for their use on the one side that we can see plainly. And six cubits was the work of man measured out for its use on the other side and that's what these two posts represent these two houses even that of Jude and Israel and that's those of praisings that, and those of that he scattered out in all the earth we'll see God did that and this was all the representation of it and it that's what was the breath of the tent or the tabernacle even there that's that's what was the use for it as we'll find out it, it is for grace Seven, two, and the breadth of the entrance was ten cubits, and the sides of the entrance were five cubits on the one side and five cubits on the other side, and he measured the length thereof forty cubits, and the breadth twenty cubits, and the breadth that's what it's used for. See, that's the width of it. The breadth of it, of the entrance at which where you go in was 10 cubits. So the total width of this entrance, the total use of this entrance altogether, was for the law measured out. See, that's what the going in was measured for, was for the law. And the sides, that's those things we can make plain 
on each side of the entrance were five cubits, and that was grace measured out, see, on each side. On the one side that we made plain us was the one house, and the five cubits on the other side, and that was the grace measured out on the other side or the uh, for the other witness. He measured the length thereof, and the length of it, or the for the how long it was, is was forty cubits and forty it is considered it's looked as probation it was forty years you was in the wilderness these forty years why it's four tens and four is the work of god in the law was measured out and the breath and the use thereof it was twenty cubits and the the work of god was measured out in the law for redemption see to witness the law in its measurements three then went he inward, and he measured each post of the entrance, two cubits. And the entrance was six cubits, and the breadth of the entrance was seven cubits. And as he went inward, even more so, and he measured, and he set the measurements of the post of the entrance, these as of these two things that would support as we enter in, was two cubits, and this was for witness measured out, and the entrance, the going in of it, was six cubits, this work of man and its measurements, and the use of it, the entrance, and but the use of the entrance, see, this use of this measurement would be seven cubits, and that is for perfection in its measurements, see, because God is perfecting it, because with two witnesses, we confirm what we're saying, not by the mouth of one, but now by two. For, and he measured the length thereof, 20 cubits, and the breadth 20 cubits before the temple. And he said unto me, This is the most holy place. And now he measures, and he sets the measurements of the length of the term and how long it's going to last, was till the witness... The witnessing of the law could be measured out, see, this redemption till twice the law could be measured out. And the use would be for this redemption measuring, measured out or twice the law be measured out. Because twice, see, God said, he would make it a great example. And twice now has he done this before the temple. And this was that measurements of, of the temple will find. And he said unto me, this is the most holy place. For this is why God did this. Five. Then he measured the wall of the house, six cubits, and the breadth of every side chamber, four cubits, round about the house on every side. And then he set the measurements now of the wall of the house. And the wall of the house is going to be that which separates in the house and it was six cubits and the six cubits is going to be once again this work of man being measured out and the breadth of it on every side then the breadth of every side chamber was four cubits now these side chambers here this and the width of them the what the purpose of them are these side chambers these side chambers are the side but these chambers here, yesterday, I know, we had the cells and the chambers. We had two different words. The cell was ta, and the chamber was lishka. But this chamber here, we got a whole other word. This word is tzla, tzla. And, and what that means are those things which are around, goes about it. These things that are around about it. And they, and the measurement of these or the the breadth of these and the use of these that are made plain see on these things that go around about it are four cubits and this four cubits is this work of god being measured out uh, to these th to these things we make plain that go about the temple all the round about the house on every side and they are round about the house on every side and on every side is where we've made plain all around Six, and the side chambers were one over another three and thirty times, and there were cornices in the wall which belonged to the house of the side chambers round about that they might have hold therein, 
and not have hold on the wall of the house. And the side chambers, these things which we have made plain round about, were one over another, one stacked on top of the other, three and thirty times. And this is the complete dedication in its period, see, there's, and of course, three tens is to complete the law. And this is to complete that which completes the law. We'll find out. This is to complete the dedication in its period. And there were cornices in the wall. And there were cornices in the wall. These things, these sockets, so to speak, in the wall, these holes to allow which belonged to the house, these holes which belonged to the house, this dwelling, for the side chambers, or for these things which were made plain round about. And they might have hold therein, and not have hold on the wall of the house, that they might rest upon these sockets, or these holes that were in the wall that belonged to the house, that they might not have hold on the wall or take hold there in the wall, but rest on it, seven, and the side chambers, or that which separates, we'll see, that which separates, and that which separates, see, was the work of man measured out. So we might have rest now on this work of man that was measured out, and not on the enclosure, seven, and the side chambers were broader as they went about higher and higher, for the winding about of the house went higher and higher round about the house. Therefore the breadth of the house continued upwards, and so one went up from the lowest row to the highest by the middle. And these side chambers, or these things which were made plain round about, were broader as they wound about higher and higher and they and their use got greater and greater as they went up higher and higher as they went for the windings and the windings of it went higher higher round about the house and these understandings they do go higher and higher as these things which are made plain round about it are known. And the use of the house continues upwards. And so one went up from the lowest row to the highest by the midst. So one now does travel from the lowest places, see, to the higher places from within one. Eight, I saw also that the house had a raised basement round about. And the foundations of the side chambers were a full reed of six cubits to the joining. And I saw this, the house had a raised basement round about. The, and this, this raised basement around about, we, this word basement may throw us off a little bit here. But I saw now that the house had, 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 was raised and exalted, lifted up, see, all around. The house was lifted up all around. And the foundations, uh, these things which were established of these, the side chambers, these foundations, that which it's established on, these side chambers, those things that we've made plain all around, the salah, were a full reed of six cubits to the joining. And we'll see that they was that full measurement, that full measurement of the reed of six cubits to the joining. That six cubits, once again, once again is the work of man being measured out where they're joined together. And this full reed, we'll find out, that full reed represents that measurement we described yesterday in the last chapter. It was made of six cubits, and a hand's breadth each. And because that hand's breadth, see, that, that is the work in its use. This, we use man's work, see, as a witness that this is God's work. Both times we have this evidence. Nine, the breadth of the outer wall which belonged to the side chambers was five cubits. So that which was left by the structure of the side chambers that belonged to the house. And the breadth, the use of this outer wall, this the wall that was on the outside, we'll find it, is separated, which belongs to the side chambers, was five cubits. And that, that wall which separated, see, 
it was five cubits. It was grace in its measurement, and it belonged to those things, see, that we have been making plain that are around about. Ten. And between the chambers was a breadth of twenty cubits round about the house on every side. And between these chambers, we these chambers, these are those things that go ar are around about, and they represent these things that we've made plain. And what that is, is all these evidences, all these things that we have made known as we have journeyed through, was a breadth of 20 cubits. And its use was for to witness the law and its measurement and for redemption. We'll find that's what the house is for, round about the house on every side and it's all around the house all around this dwelling all around it it's on every side it's made plain everywhere you look leaven and the doors of the side chambers were toward the place that was left one door toward the north and another door toward the south and the breadth of the place that was left was five cubits round about and the doors and these openings of these things these looking in these goings in and out that's what a door is where you go in and out they, of these things that were made plain were toward the place that was in it was left over see what whichever side they were appointed to that's what side they were we'll find out this was the place this was the residue one door was toward the north See, one door, one opening, one face was, or one goes in and out, was toward the north. And that's the, towards the judgment of God. That's where God stores his judgments. And another door, another opening now was, or which go out toward, was toward the south. And that is where we can look and see. This is the witness, see. We can see that parched place that God made. This is the two witnesses he made in the part where he parches both. See, this is the second witness, the second parching. And the breath of the place was left. And the breath, the use of that which was left, this is the residue, was five cubits, see. And it's grace and it's measurement round about. And it's for grace, that which is left over. Grace was what it was for. Grace was what it was set for. And grace is what's left. 12, and the building that was before the separate place at the side toward the west was 70 cubits broad, and the wall of the building was 5 cubits thick round about, and the length thereof 90 cubits. And the building, or the structure, that was before the separate place, or before you get there, see, in front of the separate place at the side toward the west and at this side were made plain now towards the where the sun goes down or to where the sun is in its setting position or enlightenment is taken away was 70 cubits broad and it was 70 because see that was where the law was perfected and because see that period of darkness is comes that's what this represents and that's where judgment takes place and each one of these is like the judgment because that's where God perfects the law in its measurement and its use and the wall of the building was five cubits thick and the wall that which separates the structure was five cubits thick it was for grace in its measurement and this thick because this thick is Rechab, and it because that's it was made wide. It was widened th for that purpose, for grace, round about, and the length thereof was ninety cubits. And and the length we'll find its its period is determined for this ninety cubits. And ninety is a mean is nine tenths, or that there might be a harvest from the law. See, a harvest even from the law measured out 13 and he measured the house a hundred cubits long and the separate place and the building with the walls thereof a hundred cubits long and he measured now he set the measurements of the 
house, this bed, this dwelling, this a hundred cubits long, and the length of it was judgment measured out. This was the judgment that was measured out in the separate and this separate place, this place, we remember this place that's set aside. This was that place that's set aside over there. This was that, this was that holy place. See, that's that separate place. And the separate place. And the building with the walls thereof, a hundred cubits. And the structure with the walls, those things that separate it, was a hundred cubits long. And that hundred cubits, once again, is this judgment land in its measurement for its length. See, it's equal. Also, 14, also the breadth of the face of the house and of the separate place toward the east, a hundred cubits. And also the use of the face, of the use of these things that are made plain of the house, this, this house of God. And the separate place that's toward the east, this separate place, this most holy place that's towards the east, this in place of enlightenment, this place where the sun comes up, a hundred cubits. And this hundred cubits, once again, is for judgment in its measurement. And he measured the length of the building before the separate place, which was at the back thereof, and the galleries thereof on the one side and the other side a hundred cubits now the temple and the inner place and the porches of the court and he measures this length he sets the measurements of the of its determination of the building the structure that is before the separate place was was which was at the back thereof this this place that's at back behind this this will find it was set over to the side of this separate place and the galleries thereof on the one side and on the other side was a hundred cubits and these galleries this word is atuk and but it it's a little different than the porch it's it's and it whereas the porch means that it was attached to this is that kind of that it what it takes away from this is that it kind of takes away from where you go into was on made plain on on one, on the other side as well as on one side was judgment in its measurement because that's what it was done their witness was against them on both sides see and there they will find that it was judgment was measured out to both equally 16 the jams and the narrow windows and the galleries that they three had round about over, over against the jams. There was a veneering of wood round about and from the ground up to the windows and the windows were covered. And we'll see here this, it picks up in 16, the jams. It should have, we should have probably started verse 16 up there with now the temple and the inner place and the porches of the court, the jams. And the narrow windows and the galleries that they three had round about over against the jams. There was a veneering of wood round about and from the ground up to the windows. And the windows were covered. So this now the temple itself and the inner place. This inner place we'll find out. See that that's the place inwardly that surrounds it. The temple. The the porches of the court and the porches of the court. These porches, that which is attached to it, the jams and the narrow windows, these supports that, that hold up the entrances and the narrow windows, these narrow windows, once again, these windows are that which where the light pierces the wall. We'll find out that's where the light shines in. But these narrow windows, these windows, this narrow means that they're closed. They're shut. And the galleries, these galleries, once again, these things that take away from that the three had round about. And these three had round about. We'll find out was this was the, even these three periods of time that that were there and all their 
these even these three ways they come in they three round about over against the jams there was a veneering of wood round about and that's what we're talking about is this veneering of wood that's all around even the inside of this inner court and from the ground up to the windows and from the ground from the this ground it always represents that lowest place that place even of the flesh up to where these openings came in and from and and the windows were covered these windows were covered over we'll find out this wood this wood is that it comes from trees wood is this word is at and it comes from the trees, and it's where the trees are peeled, and it makes a veneering. And this represents these trees have been cut from the forest. They've been peeled out, rolled, spun and rolled, and, and stripped down, and they've been used to veneer now the walls within the temple. Because all the understandings and everything they've done, God did all that, 17 to the space above the door, even unto the inner house, and without, and all the wall round about, within and without, by measure. And the space above the doors, all this was covered with this veneer of wood. The inner house, even unto the inner house, that, that abode which is within and without, and all the walls, all the enclosures, round about, within and without, by measure inside and outside by its measurement even by that which was established because see that's was what it was 18 and it made and it was made with cherubim and palm trees and a palm tree was between cherub and cherub and every cherub had two faces and it was made this woodwork this these peelings of men was made with cherubim and palm trees. And these cherubim and palm trees, these cherubim are these cherub, and what they are, they are an angelic being. And and what this is, is a, this a similitude now of this personification even of these, of a, of a being, this thing like these judgments we've seen in the earth, these cherub we've seen on the wheels of the chariot of God. See, that's what they are. They become a personification as one can interpret it into a being and these and palm trees and these cherub and these palm trees. These palm trees of, are a representation of a teaching. They're, as we will find, though, they, that these are that teaching which is made erect. It's found to be correct. It's found to be right. And it's made as a witness of itself a couple, several times, the multitude of times, actually. And this witnessing of the law is redemption, see. And there was a palm tree between cherub and cherub. And there's a teaching between each one of these angelic beings, each one of these personifications that's made itself known, see. And we'll find out each one of these has two faces. Now, witness too because we always want to witness that these faces are these things that are going to be made plain 19 so that there was the face of a man toward the palm tree on the one side and the face of a young lion toward the palm tree on the other side thus was it made through all the house round about so that there was now uh, the face of a man this which was made plain by man what he did and there toward the palm tree toward the palm tree he was looking at the palm tree this teaching making it making his face known towards it on the one side this one side now that which is made plain and the face of the young lion toward the palm tree on the other side and this face this what's made plain from the young lion remember the young lion that which rips and tears and leaves it torn see He's also looking toward the palm tree on the other side, on this, on the other side of it, on the other side which is made plain. Because once we have the establishment, see, and then the other side of the palm tree, judgment's also looking on it. And this is how it's done throughout all the house, round about, 20, from the ground unto above the door, 
were cherubim and palm trees made, and so on the wall of the temple, and from the ground, even that place of flesh, unto above the door, these openings, these openings and these entrances were cherubim and palm trees made. And that's what these cherubim and palm trees may, are. This way we can witness even this work of God. And they're upon the wall of the temple. all And, and even upon the wall of the temple even. This wall, this enclosure of the temple. Even that separate place, that most holy place that God set aside. 21. As for the temple... The jams were squared, and the face of the sanctuary had an appearance such as is the appearance. And the, as for this temple, this sanctuary, this, this sanctified place, even the most holy place, the jams, the supports of it, were squared. And the squared means they had four sides. They were the work of God being made plain. And the face of the sanctuary, the face that which is made plain of the most holy place, had an appearance such as is the appearance. And its appearance was as, 22, the altar, three cubits high, and the length thereof, two cubits, was of wood. And so the corners thereof, the length thereof, the walls thereof, were also of wood. And he said unto me, This is the table that is before the Lord. And the altar now, this altar, this would be generally where they would sacrifice unto God, but we'll find out. See, all that was done outside, all that was done without, and this altar, God says, is a table, that which stretches out from before me, and it is three cubits high. It's complete in its measurements when it's lifted up, when it's exalted. And the length thereof is two cubits. And its, and its length, its determination of it is for the witness being measured out. And it's of wood. And so are the corners thereof. And it was made of wood. It was made of these things which come from the trees, which come from all those things that have been hewn down and made to make this out of and so the corners thereof and so the corners thereof and so are the corners these corners the, we'll find out at these places of their turnings these is where they're turned the corners that's what they represent that's why it has corners that because each one represents a turn these four turns even the work of God and the length thereof its determination of it and the walls, its separations thereof, were also of wood, these things that were hewn down for this purpose. And he said unto me, This is the table that is before the Lord, and this is the table that is stretched out before God. 23, and that table represents that which is stretched out, this, this grace, this witness of the law. 23, and the temple and the sanctuary had two doors. And the temple and the sanctuary, that the temple being that most holy place, and the sanctuary, that which is sanctified and set aside, had two doors. And this two doors, now witness these openings. 24, and the doors had two leaves, two turning leaves. Two leaves for the one door and two leaves for the other. And the doors, these openings these two entrances had two leaves and and these two leaves what these two leaves represent is each one had its own door so to speak of the entry of this opening and close witness now even these two leaves these two turning leaves these two leaves that turn because this turning leaf represents this and and these each one having two now because there's twice we witness see twice we witness these two turning leaves and these leaves are that which goes back and forth or it swings revolvingly so to speak that it that it uh not that it goes around and around so to speak but that it does go back and forth, and it occupies that amount of area for one door and two leaves for the other door. For each one, each opening had two leaves 
for the other. Each each door had two leaves each, and and that represents there's two doors, and each one having these two leaves. Each one having that which goes swings both ways. Twenty five, and there were made on them and on the doors of the temple cherubim and palm trees, like as were made upon the walls, and there were thick beams of wood upon the face of the porch outside and there were made on them on these doors these actually there's four doors see there's two leaves two doors two leaves each that's four panels on them this is work of god and on the doors of the temple cherubim and palm trees like as were made upon the walls and there were thick beams of wood upon the face of the porch without and we'll find out there were on these doors these cheddar beam these these ones that represent and these teachings that are upright and these thick beams these thick beams are like these coverings these planks and that's what these beams are they're more like planks and these are and they represent this thick covering as that makes it up and and cause it's kind of like a confusion it's kind of like a the and cause they're made of wood these these things that were hewn down for this purpose and these what these beams are made of are these thick planks and they are made plain see upon these things that are attached to the house outside and there were narrow windows and palm trees on the one side and on the other side and on the sides of the porch there were also the brackets of the house and the thick beams and there were narrow windows once again these these windows these pierced these where the light pierces the wall were closed and the palm trees that these palm trees are these teachings that are uh, correct they're right and on one side they were made plain and on the other side they were made plain and the sides of the porch that which was attached to the house there were also the brackets of the house and the thick beams and there there also were these brackets or there these sockets so to speak where they rested upon the walls the they rested there upon these enclosures these teachings so that the walls the beams would bear down on them and and that's what these brackets of the house were, where the these thick beams, these thick timbers would bear down, and even these planks were upon them, see, to cover. Turn and return. We're going to move forward to chapter 42.